This is the smartest device in my house. No, 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 not this. That's my circuit breaker panel. And not this. Although that's pretty smart. It's cool, but it's not what I'm talking about. This is the smartest device in my house. It is my Rachio Smart Irrigation Control. And I never thought they could make the smartest device even smarter, but they did. Version 3. I'm going to tell you all about it. Hey, I'm trying to record here, will ya? Sheesh. Alright, quick update on... Dang! Let me get a rock. I don't even see it. But man, you can hear it. Holy crap. Anyway, quick update on the Clematis. Look at the way this thing is growing. Like a weed, man. Jeez. Now let's try this again. Welcome to Handy Dad TV. I'm Chris Heider, your virtual dad in the cloud, and today I'm going to talk about my smart irrigation control. This is the Rachio version 2. I stood here two years ago in this very shop and explained how I upgraded from a normal electronic control to the Rachio and why I did that and what I got from a smart controller. I'll link to that video right up here. Let me talk about the new control that I got. This is a Rachio. The Ratio is an intelligent controller. I went to this because all I had for intelligence in my previous timer was really the time of day. It knew which day it was. It knew the clock. It knew which day it was. It could do odd and even. You could set up multiple schedules so you could have, um, if you seeded one area, you could have that one go even more often than others. But it wasn't intelligent, and what I mean by that, it wasn't a smart device. Smart device meaning you can use your cell phone to control it or program it. I couldn't do that. I had to do it right through the panel, and the buttons were starting to go nuts on it. So this was an improvement because you use an app on the phone to do all of the programming. In fact, there's no buttons whatsoever on the front of the Rachio version 2. And that is one thing that they changed in version 3. But back to version 2... Both of them get weather data. That's the real cool thing about Rachio. Weather data not only to predict when it's going to rain, but it also gets weather data of what has rained. So you don't really need a rain sensor outside the house. Like I used to have a rain sensor and I did hook it up to this, but I didn't use it. It was like, why bother? This thing knows how much rain I get precisely. I didn't have to worry about it. So that's what I liked about this. Now, what I'm here to talk about is the new version. This is two, this is three. Now you can notice some differences right off the bat. This kind of has a, a the LED light bar right across the front here. Kind of reminds me of Kit from Knight Rider. But it also, they've changed the logo here. The logo is actually a set of buttons. You can pick a zone and you can manually run it directly from here if you don't have your phone with you. This was never a problem for me, honestly. I always took out my phone and I'd be able to stand out in the yard and say, turn on zone three, and it would go on. So I, that's not that big of a deal to me. So some of the other enhancements that they've made, one of them is to Wi-Fi. It now supports uh, five gigahertz Wi-Fi as opposed to the older um, 2.4 gigahertz. One of the main improvements, which I gotta say is something so simple, it's a magnetic front now. Whereas this one was this really hard to get off clicky thing. And um, you could see I struggled with it when I tried to take it off the wall. Mine are um, both eight zones. And the way that the zones are, the wires are put in, this one you have to use a screwdriver. The new version you don't. It has, you know, you can just push on it with your finger. A, a very good improvement, I must say. Although I only had to put the wires in once, it was a pain in the neck when I was doing it. In fact, one of the wires didn't fit. My big fat 
common wire didn't fit and I had to actually use a Dremel to grind it down a little bit to fit into the slot. This is both 8 zone. You can get them in 16 zone as well. It's more money, but you can do it. They are rated for inside only. If you want to put them outside, you'd have to get a separate enclosure for it. And I assume if you have an enclosure for version 2, you could use it for version 3. They appear to be the exact same size. I got this from Rachio. They wanted me to review it. They saw my video on version 2 and they said, hey, can we send you one? And I said, sure, but in addition, I want you to give one away to one of my subscribers. And they said, okay. So it's not a sponsored video, but they did provide me the product for evaluation and they are going to give you one as well. Stick around and I'll explain how you get in on that contest at the end of the video and you could win one of these babies. So if you already have a Rachio, would you really upgrade to version 3? Well, you might, and I'll tell you why. Version 3 is going to be the only version right now that is going to support a flow meter. They are coming out with a wireless flow meter that I should be able to get uh, next month or two. This version supports communication with that wireless flow meter. You put that over by the backflow preventer and it monitors your water usage to a minute amount. So if your valves are leaking, it knows that. If one of your sprinkler heads is damaged by whoever does your core aeration and it's leaking in the middle of the night and you're not there to see it, it knows and it would shut it down. It can also monitor exactly how much water is going out in each zone, not just by time. So that's a really cool enhancement as well. So that is a neat feature and that is probably, if you're into it, that might be a worthy upgrade of just going from the two to the three. You could always sell the two, but um, the three is the only one that's gonna support that flow meter. Um, one thing I didn't mention is it has upgraded weather intelligence. Sunny today with light breezes. The old one, I gotta say, the old one was good. I mean, it knew when I was getting rain. Giving way to clouds in the afternoon. We could see some light precipitation to moderate precipitation later on. And it would prevent, it would skip watering and save me a lot of water. Followed by powerful storm-like conditions. Gen 3 supposedly does the same thing, but with even greater accuracy. 70 miles per winds are expected. I'm not exactly sure how they do it. They just told me it is much better. Authorities are asking everyone, stay indoors. Hyper local accuracy, continuous monitoring, comprehensive data. Gen 2 weather intelligence gets data from one weather station closest to your home. Gen 3 Weather Intelligence Plus uses an aggregate of many weather stations around you, along with data from satellites, radar, and other sources, to get down to a 36-foot radius of weather around your home. One of the things you'd want to do before disconnecting your old sprinkler control is mark which zones are which. I've already taken care of that. I've written them down here because I've done this before, and I do have a picture of it as well, but... Uh, that's how I take care of it. Now I plugged in the old one just so I can remove it from my old app. I could have added the new controller before deleting the old one and Gen 3 would have automatically copied my configuration from Gen 2. But I'm intentionally setting it up as a new device so you can see how it's done. Controller settings. Remove controller. Check the box. Remove. Okay, that one's gone. Now it says I've got no controllers. Aha! See, this started blinking differently because it knows it's disconnected. All right, so anyway, this one is totally reset now. Ooh, gonna take that out. Okay, let's talk about the new one. So the new one right now, I have a white bar here and then I have this yellow light is blinking, which I'm assuming means that it needs to be added to the app. You have to use the app to set up the device. There's no way to set it up without it. So the first thing you have to do is set up the address and this is of course my address. Scan barcode. So now I can open this up. There's a barcode right in there. I'm gonna say scan barcode. Okay. And there she is. I love this magnetic thing. I know it's such a simple thing, but boy, the other one was a pain in the neck. You don't, you don't take it off very often, but so much nicer. 
Now it's saying it's aggregating data from 300,000 weather stations, blah, 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 localized to a 36-foot radius. Success. Now we got to set up my zones. So zone 1. Let's set up zone 1. If it's in the next. Okay, let's test the zone. Zone 1 is watering, yes. Let's call this left, I think I called it front left. I could even take a picture. Alright, the next step is to select my type of zone and I have cool season grass in my area and I have a rotor head and my soil is I'll call it clay loam this zone gets a lot of sun and it is flat Okay, that zone is set up. Next, zone two. All right, I'm gonna skip ahead and set up the rest of the zones. Eventually. All right, so at this point, I've set up my five zones and I've disabled the other three because I only have five. Now, you can have Ratio do your schedule completely if you really want to. I'm still a little bit of a control freak and so I like to put it on fixed and I'm selecting all my zones. You can see the other three are disabled and I'm gonna call this even days. Now this is gonna be on an even odd interval. Remember I said in Freehold, New Jersey, we have to do, I'm, my house number is even, so I, I water on even days. That's technically the law. People don't always follow it, but I try to follow it. So I'm gonna do even days only. Now, this I like, this is an improvement that they've done since the um, previous version. I love the idea of having watering done before I get in the shower in the morning. So if I take my shower at 6 a.m., I don't want to be competing with my sprinklers. So in the past, I used to have to calculate my zones and say, well, I need it to start at like 3.30 a.m. and water my zones so that way it's done by the time I get in the shower. Well, now I don't have to worry about that. Now I can say end before a specific time or I can say um, end before sunrise, which shifts during the year. I don't need that because I go to work. I want to say um, end before a specific time. So I'm going to change it to 6 a.m. So end before 6 a.m. I love that feature. Okay, choose dates today and it'll never end. I'll disable it manually when I blow out the system in the fall. Now, smart cycle schedule. I am going to do smart cycle. Now what that does is it will rotate your zones. It won't just give it, let's say I put it on for an hour, it won't give one zone an hour's worth of water. It will water a little bit, then go on to other zones, then come back to zone one. Total watering will be an hour, but it'll spread it out so it doesn't flood the area. It's a pretty cool thing. So I leave that on. And then everything else I leave on as well. Rain skip. Obviously, that's the value of the Rachio is it knows when it's going to rain or if it has rained. Freeze skip, it knows the temperature in your area and it will not rain, it will not water if the temperature is too cold. Wind skip, this is pretty cool too. If the winds in your area are higher than a certain threshold, I think it's 25 miles per hour by default, but you can configure it. You, uh, it it'll prevent watering because it doesn't want it all to blow on your neighbor's yard or in the sidewalks or the street or whatever the case may be. And then uh, saturation skip, that's a new one for me. I'm going to have to read up on that. And then seasonal shift is as the, the year starts getting hotter, it will um, increase your zones or decrease them. So I leave that on as well. So it's telling me it wants to water 16 minutes per zone except my front right, which gets some shade and my back side there, my back side, it gets some shade too. So <laughs> it only does 14 minutes on those two zones. Might have to rethink the naming of that one. <laughs> but anyway, 
Uh, that's what it's suggesting. That's kind of light, but for this time of year, it's not bad. But when it gets to July and August, yeah, I'm going to have to bump that up. So I'm going to keep the defaults for now. And there you go. I've created my schedule. All right, and here you can see today is the 7th, and it will water starting tomorrow morning. So that's really it. It's now set up, and I don't have to worry about it. That's the beauty of it. I don't have to do anything if I don't want to. Okay, let's talk about the contest here. You see that? It's yellow jacket. Get out of here. Get. Okay, let's talk about the contest. Not only did Raccio give me this one to evaluate and to do this video on, but they're also going to give one to a lucky winner from one of you. Here's what you have to do. There's only two simple things, two simple rules. Number one, you have to be a subscriber of my YouTube channel. That's Handy Dad TV. Be a subscriber. Click it now. Click that little bell icon so you get notifications as well. Number two, leave a comment in this video down below. That's it. I will use TubeBuddy to randomly select one of you, whoever leaves the comment, and you are a subscriber. I will pick who's going to win this, and it'll be shipped directly from Rachio. I will notify in my next video, the follow-up to this, when I have the flow meter. I don't know when that's coming. Could be a month. Could be three weeks. I don't know. So don't delay. Subscribe to my channel and put a comment below, and I hope you win. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Visit my website, handydad.tv, for more great ideas and information. Be sure to subscribe to be the first to know when new videos are posted.